are live from beautiful Los Angeles, California at the Commerce Casino and Hotel. It's Mexican Independence Day, and tonight we have an all-action card that should make Mexican fight fans and fight fans in general ecstatic. The main event stars Mexican William Camarón Zapata against Filipino Mercito Hesta in what should be an exciting 12-round fight in the lightweight division. Before that, the co-main event is undefeated Victor Morales from Vancouver, Washington against Mexico's Edwin Palomares in a featherweight 10-round bout. Also tonight, Costa Rican superstar Yocasta Valle in her third fight in the United States will defend her minimum weight titles against Maria Santizo of Guatemala. In the light heavyweight division, Darius Fulgham of El Paso, Texas fights for the third time in four months when he takes on Ricardo Luna in an eight-round bout. But first up, it is the 24-year-old undefeated middleweight prospect Eric Priest who will be taking on Simon Madsen of Cancun, Mexico, also in an eight-round contest. In Madsen's corner, they wanted to climb that ladder a little bit more. He's found Rouse to the body. Now goes upstairs with an overhand right. That was a good looping right hand. That definitely caught Priest's attention. But see, this is what I like about Priest. Uh, still in such a young uh, career that he has, he's showing a lot of calmness. He's showing a lot of, you know, staying, uh, staying, staying and sticking to the plan, being calm and landing shots that you need to land in order to win the fight. And that's what he's doing. And every fight's going to be like this. Every fight is going to be very tough. Um, there's not going to be, you know, a lot of knockouts along along your entire career. You got to fight tough opponents like this, and that's what he's doing. He's showing that he could box on the outside, he could take punches, and he could also give them. I was going to say, he's showing that he could absorb some punishment here tonight. Definitely. This is a tough physical fight. Definitely. Your winner, by majority decision, and still on the field. right now for more on what happened in the corner. Let's send it back over to Beto Duran. And Luna was saying, I can't see. I can't see the blood's getting in to my oh, eyes. Right. asked him, do you want to go another round? He said, I'll give it a try for one more. But Corey, it doesn't look like he wants to be in there much longer. There is Fulton trying to take him out of the fight. No, in the in the earnest cabeza, here, no, DFG looking for the TKO here in round two. Rips Luna with a nice left hook. Speculated that Luna was having trouble seeing these shots. As we take a look at the copy box totals from the opening round, nice chopping right hand from Luna a second ago. Fulgham out landing Luna. 16 to 7 as Luna takes a knee after that shot. Yeah, they're going to stop the fight. You can't see. It's over. It's like the doctor. Is it Darius Fulgham improves to 7 0 with seven knockouts? You couldn't ask for a better start to the pro career for DFG. Oh, huge left hook! That Man. one rattled Maria Santizo. But he still has to keep a composure because Santizo is still throwing haymakers. right hand there from Valle as well. The power shots continuing to land flush on Santizo. Pull it out, pull it right, stop, stop, no punch. And we've Go. seen Santizo stopped fairly brutally in the past by Sinisa Estrada. You know that Valle would love to match that performance with a knockout victory of her own. Oh, big right hand again from Valle. Well, let's send it over to Beto Duran. She's throwing those right hands, but her coach Gloria doesn't like that. She said, go to the body. The key is the body, the body, the body, and the left hook. Then you can throw the overhand right to finish it. Thank you so much, Beto. You know, despite what her corner's telling him, JoJo, it's got to be tempting when that right hand keeps landing. I, I know your trainer's telling you to go to the body, but <laughs> it's... It, it's pretty addictive if that keeps landing. Exactly. I mean, I'll be throwing that shot all day if uh, the girl or my opponent 
Santizo hasn't, you know, adapted. And she hasn't yet. She's still getting caught with that shot. But the corner is right. Landing a right hand to the body instead of landing a right hand to the top would open up a hook on Outside. top uh, all day. Move so corner. that's what Valet, Valet has to take in, into consideration. And she has to know that she could open up a deadly shot, a deadly hook, if she throws a right hand to the body instead of throwing the right hand on top. Final 10 seconds here of round six. Santizo still trying to hustle and keep up with Yoko Valle, but that, the eye-catching shots round after round are coming from the champion. Time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. And here are the totals. Zach Young scores at 100 to 90. Jerry Cantu and Fernando Villarreal both have it 99-91. All for your winner by unanimous decision. She is still smiling at William Zapata, but Hesta's corner, well, they're thinking about stopping the fight, and you heard referee Jack Reese. He's keeping a close watch on this one. He's thinking about stopping this one, too. Let's send it back over to Beto Durant. Panda said Camarón was told to finish him this round. We'll see if Zapata can pull it off here. The Hesta corner thinking about stopping it. The referee thinking about stopping it. And so is Zapata. Hard right hook there one. from Zapata. And he digs it downstairs as well. Look at these power punches. punches. Those body shots are landing effectively, man. Those are breaking him down. That's why he's not moving anymore because of his body shots. William Zapata just does not stop. Oh. 17 power punches landed through five rounds. An inhuman amount of punishment being absorbed by Mercito Hesta right now. Hesta trying to roll with these shots. Just crumbling through the 